Hey guys, welcome back to the Aviator Zone. It's that time of the year again. We're doing the annual on the bearing today. We're going to be doing the compression. I want to bring you guys throughout the whole procedure. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not an AMP or an IA, but I am going to have my IA behind the scenes and he's going to be making sure that I'm doing everything correctly. So let's get started. We want to complete the compression check as close as possible to the engine's operating temperature. Obviously, the hotter the metal, the more it expands and the better compression the engine's going to have. Alright guys, so we just uh, finished heating up the engine and now we're going to start removing all the uh, wiring harnesses for the uh, spark plugs and the actual spark plugs themselves from the top cylinder. You can do either or, but for us it's easier to do the top cylinder, so that's what we're going to do, so let's get to it. So I'm just getting them all loose first because I should be able to do this with my finger. I'm just using this wrench here to hold this in place so it doesn't actually turn the cable. That's all I'm trying to avoid by that. I'm not actually turning it. I'm just holding it in place. Now that we loosen all of them, I just unscrew these out and I just lay them out to the side. So now that we have removed all the harnesses, we're going to use a 7 8 socket to remove all the spark plugs from the cylinders. Once I have them out loose, then I just use this part of the uh, kit to just remove them out. It's a lot easier than actually turning this wrench. So we screw in this extender to the uh, spark plug, and now I'm gonna turn the propeller until I can see air coming out of there. Now we're looking for the top dead center. So I'm gonna turn the propeller until I feel compression and I feel compression there, you can hear the air coming out. And now I'm waiting for the click from the magnetos. And that should be top dead center. We have found our top dead center for the cylinder we're doing the compression check on. And my mechanic is holding now the propeller so that it doesn't spin once I pressurize the cylinder. We are adding 80 PSI, which we can read off the left gauge to the cylinder, and we're going to compare and see how much of that air it can actually retain. We open our valve, and we can see that this cylinder can retain about 75 over 80. And that's the compression for the cylinder. When you're conducting the compression check, you also want to be very aware of any leaks as to where those leaks are coming from could determine what's actually wrong with that cylinder and why it's not being able to hold the compression that it needs to hold. Well guys, that completes the process of the compression check. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next video.